Hey guys, uh, my name is Victoria Hansen and I'm a test nerd, I guess, uh, from Stockholm, Sweden. And I would like to show you how to write a quick API test using Mocha JavaScript uh, testing framework. And I want to test the uh, Swappy, the Star Wars open API that's floating around on World Wide Web. Um, so I first, what I want to do here is I want to go into my dev folder and I want to create a directory for my project that I want to call Star Wars underscore checks. Seed into that. Uh, while I'm here, I would like to initiate an NPM project. So it's very important that you have Node install uh, prior to, you know, taking on this tutorial. So NPM in it. And um, I just want to click this through because I don't want to specify anything. This is a quick demo. Um, okay, great. So we're inside of the fold. We'll just take a quick look and we can see there that we have a package.json package. Uh, cat package.json and you can see here there's not much in there. Uh, so what we want to do now is that we want to um, add some dependencies and uh, first and foremost we would like to add Mocha. Uh, so npm install Mocha uh, dash dash save dash dev will automatically install Mocha and add it to the package.json as a dependency, as a dev dependency. Uh, we want to sheet a little bit and uh, use the same thing uh, when we add Chai, which is a search and library that supports Mocha. So we want to add that. We also want to add something called should. And that's a BDD kind of tool to make the scripts more uh, easy to read. Uh, last but not least, we would like to add requests. So fire that up. And that takes a little while. Request is a HTTP, uh, well, it's a, it's a module that allows you to do HTTP requests directly from the terminal and, and you know, in scripts, yeah, scripts like this. So it's pretty cool. Um, and we can just check here. Uh, let's cap the file again. And uh, sweet. So we have four new dependencies. So what we want to do now is that we want to create, we want to do a make there. We want to create a test folder and we would like to seed into that test folder. And from here, uh, well, I guess we can go back one step and uh, do, 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 do Sublime. Oh, let's crack open Sublime. Uh, and we can see here that, ooh, nice. Uh, we have the test folder, we have some node modules, and we have the package.json. Uh, so what we want to do now is inside of the test folder, we want to create something called test.js. So that will be our first test file, basically. So what we want to do now is that we want to define some variables. So at first I would like to add should, uh, and that should be require um, should, and let's close that. Uh, and I'm a big copy paster, so I'm both good and bad terms, of course. Uh, but let's add requests and let's, change this guy to re request. Uh, we also would like to add a expect, expect. And as required, we'd like, here we want to type shy. Um, and we want to do a dot expect, we want to call that expect. So, and also we need a base URL uh, that will take us to the actual site that we're testing. Uh, and that is Swappy, Star Wars API. Uh, all right, let's see, that should be, well, that should be enough. Um, oh yeah, uh, we want to add util as well. Uh, add util and do require, require, um, and util. Okay, great. So we want to add our first test case here. Now we've defined the variables. Want to save that? Um, we want to add the first test case. And uh, oh yeah, you can use double quotes, single quotes. Um, preferably, you want to use linter for this. Uh, but since this is just a quick tutorial, I just want to shrug this through real quick and um, let it be messy. Then edit. 
Uh, okay, so we want to describe uh, this test case or this check, if you wish. Um, let's call it re return Luke. Return Luke. We want to return Luke. Uh, okay, great. Um, and I'm going to cheat a little bit here, so I just copy paste it in. Um, something that I prepared. So basically, what we do here in this test case is that we are using the request um, framework, or um, yeah, uh, to do a get request, and to, we're using the base URL over here, uh, and we're adding on to that. We're adding on people slash one. Uh, so we're picking up the first person and we're checking, we have an instruction here saying that um, we should get a 200 response. And we also want to just console log the body, just to check it out um, to see what else is in there. Uh, okay, great. So this little test here is finished. So we would like to go back here. Starbucks checks and we want to go in here and ls cd test and try mocha try and see what happens and here you can see that we're getting back uh, a response with a lot of things here um, and we have some objects uh, body objects here we have Luke Skywalker we have his height uh, his mass hair color etc etc um, Let's see if we can assert something else here in this little JSON response. So let's go back to Sublime Text. So inside of here, I would like to uh, add a new variable, um, body object. Uh, and that should, you know, just be a JSON parser just in case. Posh the whole body and uh, get that to me. Uh, we don't necessarily need that, but just in case. Uh, let's use the expect uh, the search and library um, try and expect body object. Let's let's get that guy. Let's get get name first. Let's get Luke um, and let's get the name and then go outside of that to equal Luke Skywalker. Spelling is correct. Like that. Uh, let's do one more thing. Let's copy paste this so that we can do it a little quicker. Uh, let's expect the hair color, which was the second one, I believe, um, to equal blonde. Um, and save this test case. This test. And uh, Mocha, fired it up, and it passes. So we asserted that the name was Luke Skywalker, and oh, hair color comes here. Uh, the hair color is blonde. So that was basically a quick tutorial on how to create a quick test with Mocha, or a quick check with Mocha, and uh, Chai uh, using requests. Feel free to send me suggestions on uh, if there's any framework you would like a tutorial on. Uh, I'd probably be happy to to just take on that uh, task and, and uh, jump straight into it if I feel that the test framework is worth checking out. Uh, I have a couple of videos coming up, so uh, stay tuned.